So hello everyone, my name is Nimit, and here I'm here to present and showcase the demonstration of a record summary from template, how we would be using inside the flow, right? So first of all, what we need to, we need to do is that like uh, here in the quick find. So here, if you're on the home page or setup page, you need to click and click on the setup. And once you be here in the quick find, you have to write the prompt, right? But before that, you need to enable your Einstein tools, all of them. Right, which I've done in my earlier sessions and workshop. Right, so this is the prompt. Click on this prompt, and you're uh, you need to click on the new prompt template. So once you click that, uh, the, there would be a pop-up appearing, and here it says prompt template type. So you would see many. So you have to click on record summary. All right. So here, uh, what I'm need to do is that, like you know, I'll be creating the record summary of an account. So I'll just write account record summary. Cool. And in the description, you can write anything. Um, account record summary. Okay. Any object type I will be selecting as account. So I'll just select the account, right? And click on next. So I have this uh, prompt template workspace with me over here, right? I will try that, right? Uh, use this information to this to display the mission to summarize basically to summarize the account records cool and here i would be choosing uh account name and account name over here i can give us here account click on this and i'll choose the name here and uh, account type uh the type over here is type type okay and i would say the account address so particularly an account like you would find the address you would find in the uh you know in segregation formal in city billing something right so you can say shipping or anything so shipping country or billings, I'll just choose the billing one. So you can choose any one of those. I'll choose the city one. And I'll choose uh, count summary type address. And uh, probably you can choose any one of those. You can check over here. Account reading as well. Account source, where this account source came from. Right, the annual revenue, you can choose here. The zip code created date when is born, when was this created All right and industry so i'll just choose one of those uh -huh. okay so i won't use the id uh, probably you know if i talk about in b2b use cases industry so uh it's not good to show the record id we can get that too right i'll show the Industry okay, and type address, current name, and industry, and the created date. When was this created? Okay, and uh, created date. So the created date here. Before that, I'll just write related contacts, right? Related contacts. So related contacts over here. Uh, so the related contacts over here is. Yeah, this is the one. You can choose the cases, opportunities, and so on. So related opportunities
here you go. Right, but before that on the right hand side, you see the configuration, right? The model type says standard, obviously choose standard and the model say, and the model say the 3.5 turbo. I would prefer using OpenAI GPT-4, use this one, right? Save this prompt workspace. <coughs> Right, and I'll just use one of those examples. You just say edge communication, which is probably there. I'll just preview it and check the resolution and response. So here you go. So here is a response. It's communication, the direct, cust uh, direct customer from the electronic industry based in Austin has an account with us. The account has two main contacts, uh, Sean Forbes, the CFO, and uh, Rose Gold, the SVP of procurement. Both can be reached on this or via their respective emails. That's good. In terms of opportunity, they are for uh, related to this. And the first edge, I mean, it's amazing, right? It's showing all the information here with an amount and so on, right? So now, not wasting the time, I will go there and activate this prop. Okay, so the, now the prompt has been activated, right? So going back uh, here, what we need to do is that uh, we need to, you uh, know, we need to uh, configure the flow and to create the flow and put the prompt builder, what we have created, the record summary, we need to put inside the screen flow, right? So here we go. So you just to type in the quick find flows. I clicked on flows. And here on the top right, we need to click on new flow. So once you are there in the new flow, so now we are here on this particular new flow, right? Uh, so in this particular new flow, right? Uh, once you have created, so you have to create from the scratch, right? So start from scratch, click on next. And yes, it's a screen flow. Click on then create. You have to create a screen flow here. Right, so now over here on the screen, floor, we have to get the record over here. It's a get record, click on this plus icon and just add the label. Uh, the label to get account record. Okay, we'll just move and with the get record of this object, we have to choose that as obviously account. Click on this particular account. All right, let's scroll down in this particular field. We need to, uh, search for account id yeah this is the account id over here operator is equals and value we have to create a new resource right click on new resource resource type be variable api name right record id okay leave the screen as it is data type should be text as we'll scroll down check the two boxes available for input and output right and click on done okay now okay leave this as it is now now we have to create the actions we have to add the action basically here's the action click on this particular action and search actions here if you could remember the problem template record summary that we have built up for account record summary right this is the one click on this right choose the particular label say create Account record summary. Okay, this is the one now. I'll scroll down a little. Object to summarize. If I click on this, yeah, below the actions, can you see the get records? Account from get record, right? This is the one. And yep, now we have to uh, add uh, the screen, right? We have to add a particular screen here. Click on this particular screen. Right, we probably choose the label. It says uh, show summary, show account. Summary. OK, show account summary. And I need to remove this particular photo area. I just click on this and check out this right. And now what we have to do is uh, we have to just type in the uh, display text. This is a display text. Just drag over here. 
Right, so now we have to create the API name. All right, it says show. Account summary. Okay, now we insert a resource. We need to add a particular prompt over here. Actions, output from the create prompt. Uh, account, right click this and this prompt response. Click on this, so we are good to go now. Click on done. Right, so now this has been been working. We click on save and uh, we click on the label. The label is account record summary from template. Okay, and click on save. And now we need to obviously activate it right after getting the saved. Activate this. चलो शांत हो जाओ सर जैनी शांत हो जाओ जल्दी बोलो शांत हो जल्दी बोलो शांत हो जाओ Okay, so now uh, we have we have already activated. Now we have to use that particular in one of the records, right? Account records. I'll just move back with one of the accounts. I'll just check it out where exactly. Yeah, it is here. So I'll just take an example of uh, this particular account, Edge Communications. I right, click over here, and uh, obviously we have so detailed, so probably it'll be very good in looking after the account record summary. Click on this. I click on the particular edit page, the Lightning app. Builder would open. Okay, cool. So now uh, we have this particular thing, right? So we need to add particular flow, right? And we would find the particular flow. So this is the flow over here. We just need to drag it, right? Where exactly we need to show it, right? I look forward to showing on the top. Mm, yeah, probably I will look forward to showing at the top. So this is the particular flow component, right? Uh, probably you just need to drag it and or you can uh, put it, place it over here, right? I just need to show this below this edge communication over here, above the related and detailed tabs, right? Uh, so this is this, okay. And yeah, good to go now. I'll just save this particular uh, lighting up below that what we have added this, right? I'll just activate this. Okay, and I'll sign as the default boat. I'll move forward and then save it. Okay, so now uh, we'll just uh, check it right over here. What is the best example of record summary prompt template? We have it for the account. We can do it for the co contact objects and these objects and opportunity as well. I'll just take a look over here. Okay. So your is it? It's loading over here. Can you check over here? It's loading. So on uh, so on the basis of uh, this particular uh, account related to all the contact types, industries, everything it comes over here. So it says account record summary prompt template. This is what the flow that we have created. 
And see, it all describes edge communications, so direct uh, customer based in Austin and operating its uh, electronic industry. So industrial electronic has two associated contacts. So that two contacts associated, right, with the emails and mobile, uh, sorry, numbers, right, can be contactable. The account has several related opportunities. I also mentioned the opportunities, right? So these are the opportunities over here. And see, when was it created, right? Closed one, everything, yeah, everything related to the opportunity over here, right? So the account was created in 11, 24, 24. Wow. So uh, guys, this is a basic example of uh, edge communication. Uh, I mean, sorry. So guys, this is a basic example of record summary, you know, prom, prom template. I hope you have us liked it. Do practice and follow. Ciao. Thank you so much.